Good day to everyone. It is Monday, September 16th, 2024. It's going to be a beautiful day out. There's blue sky, a little bit of cloud cover, sun's up. I can't say green, green grass, but everything's green out here. No puddles, no rain today. It's been a little warm here, almost summer-like again. Current temperature is 66. The high today is 85. 0% chance of rain. The past few days, I actually had to mess around with the AC. It's been that warm out. I figured out how to use this thermostat. It's, it's similar to ones I've used before, but when I turned the AC on the first time a few nights ago, it tripped the circuit breaker, so I had to go into my roommate's room because that's where the circuit box is and reset the switch. Since then, it's been working fine. I looked up online at what's a good temperature to keep the house at, comfortable and energy-wise. Everything I saw recommended 72. So that is what I have it set at right now. And it hasn't run very much, but it's felt nice when it has run. I'm so happy to have AC again. There's the kitty boo. Hi. I'm going to sit right here. Yeah, I hear the birds and the chipmunks and the squirrels. This is like your kitty TV right here. You're really enjoying this, huh? There we go. There's the cheek rubs. <laughs> yeah. Kitty says good morning. I have a bunch of things getting delivered today, either FedEx or post office. I'm excited to receive these things. And shortly here, I'm gonna make a trip to Dollar Tree and get some light bulbs. I've been setting up that guest room, the spare room. I've got a bed in there now, a dresser, a TV. The nightstand is gonna get delivered today. The guest room slash possible roommate room is almost all set up and I'll reveal that today. Kitty just moved from his living room window to the bedroom window here. We get the squirrels and the chipmunks that kind of run up here and they go under the AC unit. This AC unit is actually for the apartment above me. We've even seen a stray cat walking across here. Yeah. This way you get to talk to your friends, huh? But you're safe in here, kitty. This is your house here. They're not getting in here. I did start using the garage, as y'all can see. Made it to the Dollar Tree. Let's see what they got for light bulbs. Gotta love the dollar store. I was able to pick up three of the 60 watt LED replacement bulbs. Time to head back home. I do like having a garage. If y'all have known me for a while and followed my vlogs for a while, y'all know that my favorite season is fall. My favorite holiday is Halloween. I couldn't resist now that it is September and the temperatures are starting to drop. I had to put out some of my Halloween decorations. I wanted to show you all some of them right now. These all came from Walmart. So first I've got the trick or treat bats just kind of hanging here on the wall. I've got a string of orange lights that I usually plug in later tonight. Then I've got my bloody handprints, kind of wall, uh, window clings here, gel window clings. And then of course I have the other window clings here. It says happy Halloween, trick or treat. Let me just open up this door and show you from the, and you can't really see it. I've got a moon here with the bats, more bats, kind of a crow on top of a skull here. It says happy Halloween, trick or treat. Then you know about a month ago I got this Hocus Pocus Lego set. Still got that on display. And I picked up this skeleton kitty. Yeah. Couldn't resist this one. I do love fall and Halloween. It's about quarter to one in the afternoon right now and I just received everything that I was supposed to today. And I sure do have quite a haul. There's a lot of regular mail as well. First thing I got was Mannequin, one of my all time favorite movies. Kitty's kind of curious what I got. <laughs> he just kind of took over my space here. And that's all right. Oh, he looks sleepy though. You go back to sleep, sweetie. You're okay. You'll just be in the background. For those of you who have been watching my vlogs, y'all know that I'm a retro gamer and I've been trying to collect most of the games that I played growing up as kind of a showcase of my history with the gaming industry. And then I also have a special Mario collection featuring all the Mario games that I played in my history with the gaming industry. So with that in mind, let me show you all the retro games that I got today. There's the kitty in the background. First set of games here, I ended up going with the fighting genre. I have Killer Instinct for the Super NES, Mortal Kombat again for the Super NES, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, and yes, you guessed it, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, all for the Super NES. Then, adding to my Mario collection, I got Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island for the Super NES, Super Mario Kart for the N64, Super Smash Brothers for the N64, Mario Party, and Mario Party 2, all for the N64. That's a nice little haul for my retro gaming collection. And now it's time to get 
all these situated on the shelves here for display. FedEx came about the same time as the post office today and I ended up getting my nightstand. Came in a little box like this, I gotta put it together. But once I do get it put together, that room will be done as far as I wanna furnish it. So I've got some work to do this afternoon putting that together. I went ahead and unboxed all the parts for my new nightstand and I've got them laid out on the floor over here. Not too many parts. Let's get to putting this together. Well. That was pretty quick. I've got the spare room all situated now and it's ready for either a guest or another roommate. Let's check it out. I'm very pleased at how that room turned out and I think any guest or another roommate will really enjoy that room. It's been kind of a busy day with all the mail and stuff coming and having to put it, put together that furniture and running errands to the store. So I think right now it's time for that Christian faith message of the day. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. It's Romans 12, 12 from the NIV version. Anytime things aren't going the way you planned in your life, just remember, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Make sure to put all your cares, all your worries, all your concerns, and all your fears into God's very capable hands, and then trust Him to make your paths straight and see you through it. That is your Christian faith message for today and this vlog. I think Kitty back there has the right idea. If you like what you see in my videos, please don't hesitate to hit Moan Chan that like button, and always remember to be kind to each other, be true to yourself and others, and God bless everyone out there. I will see y'all tomorrow.